Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? So uh, welcome to your readings for the month of October 2018. Again, thank you so much for tuning in and returning if you are doing so. Please keep in mind that these are general readings, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. And because these are general readings, the energies can be switched. They can go either way. So just take it as it resonates for your specific situation. And if, does, if something does not fit, please do not try to make it fit because then that will only confuse you. Yeah. Um, I do want to extend a very happy birthday to all of the Libras, since in the Western system, we are in Libra season. Happy, very, a very happy birthday to you and a very happy birthday to the October Scorpios. Yes, because we will be moving into your season in late October. Now, if you are you, if you resonate more with the Eastern system, of which I do personally, then we are still technically in Virgo season. So very happy birthday to the Virgos out there that resonate with the Eastern system. Yeah. Um, if you don't know which side you resonate with more, uh, I have provided some links in the description box below. If you like, you can go to those links and you can put in your birth uh, data and calculate your, your birth chart for both the Western and the Eastern system and see which one you resonate with. For me personally, I grew up believing I was a Taurus sun, but then when I started investigating and learning about Eastern astrology, I learned that I'm actually an Aries sun and that kind of fits a lot better. I resonate with that much more. There is no absolute answer as to which system it's, is better. It's really all about what you resonate with the most. And of course, depending on no matter which side you're on, still watch the videos. They can resonate at whichever, in whichever way is best for you. Okay. That is all your decision. Either way, the readings are here for you to watch. Yeah. So, um, just a little bit of shop talk. I am available for personal readings. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can get my email address from the description box below, as well as a list of all of the readings that I offer. Um, if you cannot decide which reading would work best for you after going through the different options, you're still welcome to email me and we can chat a little bit about what is going on with your situation and I will help you decide which reading would be best for you. Yes. I will be at Om Shanti Bookshop every Monday from 11 to 5 p.m. If you would like to schedule a time to meet with me and have an in-person reading, in -person reading for face to face, you can find the link to the website for Om Shanti in the description box below. And once you get to the website, you will find their phone number. You are encouraged to give a call and let them know if you would like to book a reading ahead of time. Otherwise, walk-ins are 100% absolutely welcome. Just come on down whenever you have a chance. Yeah. For the readings this month, we're doing the same as we did as last month. So we're go using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck, you guys. It's so pretty. And then, of course, we're finishing out with my best friends, the unicorns. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So... I believe that's it. So without further ado, let's get to the readings, guys. <laughs> Hello, Libra. Welcome to your reading for October 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in and a very happy birthday to you. A happy birthday to all of the late September Libras as well. Yes, yes. All right. So let's just get into it, shall we? Okay. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Libra for the month of October 2018. Yes? Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Libra. So I'm seeing... I'm seeing like oh boy okay well <laughs> we've got we've got some flyers here Ugh. okay Libra so 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 what's going on here for Libra well I, I'm picking up just from the flyers alone I'm picking up something a few things here there's a few scenarios one 
you could be dealing with um, a situation where you're finding that a Ten of Pentacles situation, because we have the Ten of Pentacles here, this is in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse is saying, in this situation, is saying to me that um, uh, the, 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 the financial situation, the job, the family life, the home situation is not something that is resonating with you. It's not something that agrees with you. Or there's some sort of blockage here when it comes to your finances, uh, your family. If you want a family, there may be some sort of blockage here. Um, and this could be from your own energy with the Queen of Swords in reverse here, okay? This could be an energy of someone being spiteful, vindictive, um, overly judgmental, uh, that kind of thing. You could have been expressing this energy, Libra, and it could have left, and it could have been really deceitful. You could have been really deceitful, or the energy that you were exhibiting could have um, left you in a state to feel like something has been stolen from you, something's been taken from you, you might have been robbed in some way, and that has left you in this Ten of Pentacles in reverse state in the sense that there might be a financial situation, a family situation, a work situation that is not resonating with you. On the other hand, there could be an energy around you in which someone is actively stealing from you, taking your power away in a sense with the Queen of Swords in reverse coupled with the Seven of Swords upright. And now that has leave, left you in some sort of Ten of Pentacles in reverse state. The main thing I'm getting here for Libra in this situation is that there is an energy of someone who wants the Ten of Pentacles is doing a disservice to them, is basically uh, shooting themselves in the foot, um, stealing from themselves, um, stealing this manifestation from themselves because of a Queen of Swords in reverse energy. And I feel like it's the person that is exhibiting this in their life. It doesn't have to be a Libra. Libra, this could be you, or this could be someone that you're connecting with. Um, if you're a cross-watcher, this could be the Libra the Libran that you were cross-watching for. Um, but I feel like someone is actively acting in a Queen of Swords in reverse situation that is basically robbing them of this Ten of Pentacles situation. It's blocking them from that, from expressing that, from receiving that, from achieving that, from manifesting that, that kind of thing, okay? Those are just your flyers, Libra. So let's get into the rest of the reading. I am going to shuffle some more. I'm getting a dark green energy. Um, it's like a forest green energy. And to me, it's saying, uh, this is the heart chakra. And I just heard heart chakra. Uh, I just heard heart palpitation. So what I just spoke of in the flyers here, Libra, could be... Um, a catalyst to a heart chakra activation for you. I really feel like if you're dealing with this or the cross watcher that's dealing with a Libra or the person, or if you're the Libra, but the person that you're dealing with is exhibiting this energy, this is ultimately serving to have their heart chakra open up because, oh goodness, all right, more, oh Lord, more flyers here. Um, there's a lot of conflict. But I feel like that conflict is, putting, is being put to rest. And this is what I was just saying. Um, what I was saying was that whoever, whoever is going through that Queen of Swords in reverse and the Seven of Swords energy, you are learning. You're actively learning what not to do in order to manifest the Ten of Pentacles that you actively want here. So what I'm getting now with the Flyers is we've got the Page of Wands in reverse. And to me, this is saying silence. There is no one, no one is communicating right now. There really is not, there's a blockage between communication, but that's healthy, okay? Because what's happening is whoever is not communicating, um, or at least whoever was exhibiting that Queen of Swords energy, they were also exhibiting this Five of Swords energy. But this is in reverse here. This, to me, what's being told now, especially with the Hierophant here, which is upright, you could be dealing with a Taurus, that's possible. But what the Hierophant is here is saying is there is learning happening. Here. And that's why we have this page of wands in reverse in which energy, there are no, there, I'm hearing silence. There is no communication right now because someone is going within and rediscovering themselves with the page of wands, is rediscovering how they can be, how they can manifest things and keep this five of swords energy at bay. Okay, this could be the Libran, 
because this is swords energy. Okay, but there's learning happening here. Okay, wow, Libra, you're getting, you're really getting a, a an extra dose here. <laughs> um, happy birthday, <laughs> says the universe. But ultimately, it's not about your birthday, really. It's just these are messages that need to come through. All right, Libra. I'm going to get a few more shuffles for you. But yeah, there's definitely some heart chakra activations going on here, okay? All right. Libra. One more shuffle. Libra, Libra, Libra. Okay, here we go, Libra. All right, overall energy for your month, Libra, October 2018. <laughs> We've got the Two of Cups. So this is connecting with a soulmate. Um, this could be a new soulmate. This could be connecting with someone else in the someone from the past. But this is also um, integration or balance or union within. Okay, this is definitely speaking to the energy of someone learning how to be a, a better manifester in their life. Good Lord, Libra. Ace of Cups. So this is also, there, there's definitely energies of um, union within, okay? Because the Ace of Cups is about self-love. It's also about offering a new love. It's also about new love coming in. Um, it's about a new potential for love, okay? We've got the Emperor. Could be the Divine Masculine, if you're a Twin Flame. Uh, could be an Aries also. Um, and then underneath that, we got the Hanged Man. Now, the Hanged Man is in reverse here, which is interesting. Yeah, which is interesting because I'm purposefully not, wasn't really doing reversals, but this one came out in the reverse. So, okay, it's meant to be. I'm going to take it as it is. So someone, throughout this month, someone's going to be going through a process of coming out of a hanged man state. The hanged man can also speak to Pisces, okay? Uh, so you could be connecting with a Pisces or Pisces may be in your chart, um, I'm also getting an energy of there might be something going on. Something might happen for you. A commitment might deepen, I'm, I'm hearing, somewhere between Pisces and Aries season. Hmm. But ultimately, someone is working on coming out of a state of introspection. Of And this absolutely goes, falls right in line with the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the Seven of Swords. Someone is coming out of a situation where they were stuck, they were bound, they weren't getting what they wanted, they weren't manifesting what they wanted, or what they were manifesting just was shitty. <laughs> and um, someone is starting to understand why. Okay, And self-love, self-respect, union within is coming into play. Someone is taking control of their manifestation abilities. Someone is taking control of their domain. Someone potentially may have found self-love here. Um, this could either be you, Libra, or it could be someone you're connecting with. Um, someone may have found self-love, found union within, and um, is taking their power back with the emperor is no longer needing to see, no longer needing to be in this position anymore in order to see things differently. They have gotten the enlightenment they needed, and so now they can move on to a next, a new chapter in their lives, okay? That's really beautiful. I am picking up an energy of this could, Libra, this could be someone that you've been connecting with that is no longer in the hanged man state. That could either mean that they have found self-love and they're moving on to something else. They're taking control, taking their power back and no longer allowing certain energies to come in. And so they may be moving on from you or they moving, may be moving towards you. Okay, please understand. Again, I will say it again. This is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay, for the first half of your month, first set of current energies, we've got the Nine of Swords, Anxiety. 
And with this Nine of Swords here, I really feel like for those of you who are, who in which you have someone that is in essence um, moving on or walking away from you, this could absolutely be giving you a Nine of Swords energy. This could absolutely be giving you anxiety. But this also is an expression of what you are, what someone is experiencing here with the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Swords upright, and the Ten of Pentacles reversed, which were the first set of flyers here, okay? Nine of Swords is coupled with there's that Hierophant again. Now, what I'm getting with this is some of you are really being faced with some hard truths here. There are some, I'm, I keep hearing indoctrination. Take that as it resonates. It could mean um, into some sort of religion. Maybe you've been indoctrinated into something that no longer serves you. Or you are being... Um, this could be on an energetic or spiritual level in which you are, you're going through an initiation. And so that could absolutely be giving you some anxiety. But what I, the, the, there's a strong message here coming from the Hierophant in, in the sense of learning, okay? You're learning some, re, someone is learning some really serious lessons from the universe right now. And they're being faced, kind of, they're basically being faced with their worst fears because what I'm getting here is that they're starting to realize that they've manifested this themselves and they're starting to see all the actions that they have put forth or taken in order to manifest these things. Now, this is not all bad. Why? Because you're learning through contrast and you're learning through your own experience. So ultimately, this is going to serve you. And ultimately, this is absolutely within alignment for you. It's just a challenge right now. It's fine. Second set of current energies for you for the first half of the month. We've got the Fool. More Pisces energy, I believe. Um, but also, this is a brand new start. Okay, this is you being, this is you working through this initiation in order to take a leap of faith towards something new. This could also be you taking a leap of faith when it comes to a relationship. Wanting to offer an extended, uh, ex offer a hand in marriage, even that could be why you're in um, anxiety, why you may be having anxiety. Someone may be wanting to propose because the Hierophant can talk about marriage. Okay, the Fool is coupled with <laughs> the Knight of Wands. All right, so a passionate new start. I'm getting um, this could be now. The Knight of Wands often tends to be an energy that's very wishy-washy. Here one second, gone the next. Someone that wants to be able to come and go as they please. I'm not necessarily getting that too much from this. Absolutely, this absolutely could be that energy. But also when it comes to the Hierophant here, the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups, I really feel like this is just someone wanting to rush in passionately with an offer. I'm seeing someone coming through as a torchbearer saying, here I am, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to do this now, okay? That's really nice energy. Your current challenge in the first half of the month, we've got, ooh, the Knight of Swords. Which is kind of falling right in line with the Knight of Wands energy. Because the challenge here is to think things through, to not fly by the seat of your pants. I mean, yes, it's it's good to want to, to to have passion and fire to drive you towards something, but you want to still map it out. You don't want to come in here and and start saying things that you might regret, okay? Because that's very much a Knight of Swords energy. But this also could be you, Libra, as the Knight of Swords. All right, Knight of Swords is coupled with the Six of Cups. There is a lot of energy of wanting to rush in towards a soulmate. But you have to be careful how you approach the situation, Libra or the cross watcher. Because Six of Cups energy, this is very delicate energy, even though it's a situation that, yes, it's, it's you know, long, long standing, um, it's from childhood or it's from a past life. So either way, there's a lot of history here. It's still a delicate situation. And the wrong move could set you back quite a bit. So your challenge is to handle this situation with care, okay? 
Your potential outcome for the first half of the month is the world. Excellent. Um, uh, endings of the situations. But the first thing I heard was regeneration. So there's an ending of a cycle coming. And it's most likely that cycle of Queen of Swords in reverse with the Seven of Swords upright and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, okay? There's another thing that I'm getting from that set of flyers. There could be a mother figure or of just a feminine figure, uh, a predominant feminine figure that was acting in ways that were not on the up and up, we'll say, because the Queen of Swords in was in reverse and thus there was deception in the seven with the seven of swords energy that was keeping that was helping keep that ten of pentacles energy blocked okay but i really feel like that cycle is coming to an end here towards the first half of the month the world is coupled with hey there you are libra the king of swords why is this situation coming to an end because someone is stepping up to the plate and starting to really see things as they truly are. Starting to be to become detached enough to say, no, this is not serving me anymore. I'm going to cut this out now. That's the potential. Okay? And I want you guys to know, I want you to look here. Look, you've got the world and your potential outcome. And you've got the fool here. These are their their success, and you've got the world, and then you've got the fool. Um, and I feel like the upcoming energies are is the world because the cycle is becoming is coming to completion, and someone with the current energy has the fool here because this is what they want to do. They want to take a leap of faith. They want to start over. They want to start something new. Okay. Excellent. For the second half of the month, first set of current energies, you got. The High Priestess. Now, I want you guys to take a very good look at this. You've got counterparts here in your reading. For the first half of the month, you've got the Hierophant. The second half, you've got the High Priestess, and they're in the same spot, okay? The High Priestess is, in fact, the counterpart to the Hierophant. The High Priestess talks about intuition, talks about secrets. I'm picking up here that you're moving into this. You could be potentially moving into the second half of the month, having learned a lot, but keeping a lot of what you plan to do with that knowledge to yourself. That even could be keeping the knowledge that you have gained to yourself, okay? Here, uh, the high priestess is coupled with the six of swords. Yep, you're taking that knowledge and you're moving, and you're just gently moving away towards calmer waters. And you're keeping it to yourself, which in all honesty, is a good thing because it's not necessary at this moment in time. It's really not necessary to let everything that you learn be known. What's more necessary is to allow the knowledge you've gained to help put move you forward. That is the biggest thing here. Okay. Second set of current energies for the second half of the month. We have the magician manifestation. And, what and the magician comes right after the fool. And look, the fool is here in this position, in the same position for the second half of the month. You've got the manifestation. That's great. That's coupled with <laughs> the ace of swords. Why are you manifesting something new? Because you've received that epiphany. You've had your aha moment. And now you're ready to take the stand and move towards what it is you truly want. Now, I want to say that, yes, you have the Two of Cups energy here. You have the Ace of Cups energy here. You have the, 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 the Emperor, all right? These are energies of, especially in terms of the Ace of Swords here, I don't want to say that this is really all this, like this, this partnership or whatever is necessarily, it's not necessarily going to manifest completely or even begin to, you may not be able to see physical evidence of this partnership being a thing in the month of October. What I'm getting here is this is the catalyst, okay? This is the start of the manifestation of this Two of Cups and Ace of Cups here, okay? So in the second half of the month, you're, you could potentially start to manifest these things because of what you learned with the Ace of Swords, what you learned from the Hierophant energy here in the beginning of your month. The challenge for the second half of your month, the two of wands, making a decision. How do I go about this? And with the world in this person's hand here, I'm seeing, okay, I know what it is I want. Now, how do I go about getting it? And keep in mind, you've got the world, the actual world card in your potential outcome 
for the first half of the month. Coupled with that clarity, seeing things as they truly are with the King of Swords. And now you've got the Ace of Swords here, which is, yep, that's the epiphany, that's the light bulb. And in your challenge, you've got the world in your hand. So now how do you go about manifesting it? And you've got the manifestation energy here with the Magician and the Ace of Swords. Your potential outcome, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the second, <laughs> the, the, the Two of Wands is coupled with, hey, the King of Wands. Haven't you gotten so very passionate? This is someone who is driven, who knows what they want and is going for it. This is more Aries energy. Could also be a Leo or a Sagittarius. You could be connecting with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or you could have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in your chart, okay? And you also got two depictions of the Divine Masculine, should we be talking about Twin Flames. You've got the Emperor, and you've got the King of Wands, at least as far as I'm concerned. That's how I read those two cards, okay? Your potential outcome for the second half of the month, Libra, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So here you are, or this or you're the person you're watching for, the person you're connecting with, or you, Libra, taking these action steps, slowly but surely, putting each and every piece into its proper place in order to manifest. The Knight of Pentacles is coupled with the Five of Swords. Interesting. I feel like there's a lot of opposition here. I'm getting an energy of against all odds with the Five of Swords. Someone is putting some pieces together. Someone is putting some pieces in place. Someone is building something to manifest something great against all odds with the Five of Swords. And I really feel like this person is going to be facing these odds with the Five of Swords by themselves. They're doing this on their own. Maybe because they want to, maybe because they have to. But there's some very tenacious energy here with the Knight of Pentacles. And that Knight of Pentacles is facing that guy in the Five of Swords. They're facing each other against all odds is what I'm getting here. Wow, Libra. <laughs> That's pretty intense. All right, let's get into your Oracle, your oracle Guidance here from the unicorn. I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna title this video. Against all odds. Yeah. It's perfect. Uh oh. My feather done fail. <laughs> Alright, one more shot. All right, Libra. Best messages from for the month of October from the unicorns, please. Spirit for Libra. Give it a second here. Let it just come right on out. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Cards are getting jumpy here. Okay. Libra. Here we go. Best message. Please. Spirit. There we go. Ooh, two of them. Okay. So you've got possibility. Raise your standards, elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential. So that right there is mirroring the energy of against all odds. Excellent. Possibility, and then you've got <laughs> partnership. Teamwork will give you a better result. Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build up a talented support team. So I'm seeing two things in this card. First, I'm seeing the mirroring of the two of cups here. But then I'm also seeing a message to those of you who are that I was picking up on that were, are 
doing this alone, feeling like you have to do this alone, you don't. You have to, you do need to find someone or a group of people that will be able to help you that are on your side that want to see you succeed, okay? Be very discerning. Use your natural king of swords energy to figure out who those best people are. Those teammates, yes? All right, Libra, there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Very, very happy birthday to you. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of November. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.